Hello guys, I'm Tom and I'm Davis Evaluator. Today, uh, let's have a brief review of Davis topic. And he take, he tell us about the uh, uh, we fear about unknown unknown things. And he took a book to uh, for how uh, how people behave and how people see things. And the book tell tell him that uh, how people should should uh, should behave and should see things. And he then tell us two story story about his life. And one is her uh, her trip with her with his trip with his girlfriend. And the other is um, how he view people in the, in his life. Okay. Um. Uh. Today is David's day three speech. That means that uh, he only have two speech before, but this time he didn't use the PPT. It's a big challenge for a speak uh, for a speaker to do, because uh, without PPT, it's hard for us to to um, to have a remind of what we are going to say, and David do a good job in this part. And David is a good speaker. He speaks fluently. And he know that what what uh, he know clearly about what he what he's going to say, and he can even have a good hand gesture to to have a emphasize on what he say. And um, and David tell two story in his speech. Why why we tell story in our speech? It's because. The story is easier, is clearer for us to show our point, show our point, main point. For example, in the first story, the uh, the trip with her girlfriend, with his girlfriend, and it's it's clearly that it's clearly for us to know that after we um he have a opposite view of the person that. He finally know that person is a good person, but in the office he felt that this person is not a good good person. It's a it's a uh, it's a evidence that we don't we we cannot trust person in their office. In the next in the second story, um, in the second story it made me think about the the old Chinese saying is like. Uh, when we, there are three people going together, and they're they're clearly that there is one person can be our teacher, and uh, but but um I feel about a little weird about the second story because I think that these points is not so connected about the uh, fear about unknowns. Um, yeah, I think it's the. Uh, it's the thing that I can pick on your speech this time, and that's all. Back to G.